Hey everybody, how's all my beautiful band of people doing? Um, today is Thursday and I'm a day late doing my um, update video, but this one's going to be just a little bit different. I'm walking around so I hope I don't make you guys dizzy. Um, I had some questions come in. I guess people noticed that I live um, in a mobile home and some people had asked me, how do you fit a treadmill in your house? Well, um, we, we gave up a big bathroom in order to have a big bedroom. So, uh, so I probably have a little bit bigger bedroom than most people would. Um, but even at that, I still have plenty of room for my treadmill, and I'll show you why. So, if you, when you're buying your treadmill, if you make sure you get one that will fold up, and it will, sorry, I can't see what I'm doing. It will give you plenty of room. This does not take up a whole lot of space. Um, and my fan's on, so it's probably going to be loud. Um... But, um, it's got a thing down here, and you just, um, sorry guys, I really can't see what I'm doing. But you just open this thing, and, um, I'll do it. But you just, um, pull this lever out, and it just comes down. And I'm sure most treadmills are like this, but, you know, mine's not no big special fancy version. Um, I started out my journey at my original weight was uh, 244. Um, my pre-op diet was, I started at 219. Surgery date, I was 205. And I really don't know what I am today. The last time I weighed, I was 195. So, doing really good. I'm really happy with that considering even though I do have a feel, I really don't have any restriction I mean, my, I get fuller faster, I stay um, full longer, but I can still pretty much eat whatever I want, and I know that, and I think that's my downfall right now, because if I want to cheat, I can, and I try not to cheat, but you know, being fat's what got me here, and being able to overeat is what made me fat, so, you know, that's just how it goes. But so, and I'm five foot two. So I think a lot of people, I was talking to Erica the other day, and um, a lot of people I think thought I was taller. And it's funny because I'm not really that tall. I have really short legs. I'm really short. So as far as um, how I'm doing, I'm doing good. Lord, look at this light. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, I'm doing good. Yeah. Things are going pretty good right now. And, um, I think probably in September I'll be starting my new job, which I'm really excited about. If everything works out, he said a couple months, so I'm hoping by the end of September because I really want to get back to work. I'm really excited about that opportunity. I wanted to talk about some things today. One of them is um, some other people have mentioned in their videos about Aunt Flo, and um, I'm having that same issue. Everything was really kind of normal until I had the band, and then sometimes I she comes twice a month. Sometimes she don't come at all. You know, it's been really weird. Like, um, so because normally I should, she should be here now, but she's not. And but um, so yeah, Aunt Flo has not been very happy with me since I got the surgery, and so that's one thing. Um, Having some weird sleeping issues, I wondered, you know, I know Erica was having some issues sleeping, and I think somebody else, maybe Texas Danielle, somebody was talking about it, but I just can't sleep, and, um, it's really weird, like, my whole schedule, and I don't know, that could just be fallout from, you know, post-op recovery and everything, you're, you're up and down through the night and different things, so that could be the issue with that, um, I also wanted to say to, um, rocking my band and <clears throat> that I don't know if you're putting your real name on YouTube so I'm not gonna say it until you tell me it's okay so <laughs> rocking with my band um, or rocking my band um, please don't get in a hurry I did that and all the girls can tell you um, I got in such a huge hurry to be losing weight and I felt immediately felt like I was a failure like I was so mad at myself I hated my band I didn't understand why I wasn't losing um, you know, you're so fresh post-op, please do not start working out 
you know, my when I went and got my first fill, I was a month post-op, and he still wanted me to wait another week before I started even trying to do setups or anything like that. Um, I was actually shocked that that we were allowed to um, get intimate um, so soon after surgery. So, um, you know, please take your time. Let your body heal because you do not want to mess up your band by trying to um, fast forward things. It's not good. You know, please don't do that to yourself. Um, you look great. You know, you're just getting started. You're not that far behind me, you know. And I, I feel really glad that we can pretty much be on the same page during our journey. Also, I wanted to say congratulations to Chelsea Coots. Um, Chelsea is one of my friends. She lives here in my hometown, and she's getting banded in August. So, yay, Chelsea. Congratulations on getting your surgery date, and I wish you all the best. And I will be talking to you as much as possible. Um... <coughs> I can't remember what else it was. Oh, I was watching Jen and Brad last night, and that was like a killer weight loss spread. I wish that I could totally get that much of a weight loss. That would be awesome in one week. And Jen, I just, I couldn't imagine being where you're at. It just still seems like such a faraway reach. You know, that is just insane to me that I could actually be there because I don't really, my weight loss, I really only need to lose about 80 pounds to be a goal. You know, um, so I couldn't imagine, you know, being there already. That would just be crazy for me. I wanted to say happy anniversary to Erica. Um, I know you went last week and celebrated, and your anniversary is this week, and I may be like a day late. I think it was Monday. Um, well, not a day late. Holy cow, I'm a couple of days late. I haven't had a chance to make a video. But I did talk to you in some texts and stuff, and I know y'all had a good time, and Kudos to you and kudos to Mandy for being able to um, get in your bathing suits and do pictures. Holy cow. I so could not do that yet. I, look how long it took me to do a dance video that, you know, I'm just a big chicken. Um, but when, I'm sure whenever I get to where you guys are at, I will probably feel a lot more better about doing that. Um, they're working. Anybody that's on the WLS page, we are doing... Um, a mailing list um, what it is is for each of us will have if you put your name on the list then you get a copy of the list and um, it's for everybody to exchange addresses so we can send each other cards or maybe if somebody wants to send somebody a gift or something <coughs> that way we will have it the list is not going on the page it's gonna I'll send it all through private message and um, sorry my arms getting tired um, I will send everything through private message. Nobody in the public will see your address. And like I said, it's just whoever puts their name on the list and their address on the list, that's who will get a copy. Um, so if you want to be part of that, that's, you know, you can, um, you know, just private message me. And, um, or if you don't have my number, I think I'm, a lot of y'all have my number. Um, so just send me that. Shelly. And the band um, I liked your cooking video and um, but yeah um, hello to grace um, I miss you we need to talk more um, things have just been crazy busy I hope you're um, doing well and um, I know that you're rocking the far out of your exercise routine right now so but um, I think that's pretty much gonna be it for this update I hope I didn't miss anybody if I did I'm sorry and um, I hope everybody is doing good, and as Rockin' With My Band would say, I love your faces. Jesse. hope everything's cool over there in the UK. Hope you're doing good. And, um, yeah, just thanks to everybody for all the Wonderland videos that got put up for me, and I hope you all enjoyed mine. But we will talk to you guys later.